on a day like this where you know the VIX is dropping more than six percent all right going back below 28 the Nasdaq it's up what more than three percent the S&P is up more than three percent the Dow Jones is more up than 2.6 percent everything is up even cryptocurrencies is way up then you know the two last weeks that are kind of a, a, a blood bath of course it does make sense for AMC on a day where it's supposed to be being bought because of the rebalancing happening with the Russell 1000 from the Russell 2000. Of course, it does make sense for the stock to be up only, only 3.5%. After pretty much being in the red the whole mid-session and until we had this, you know, last minute pop at the end just to, I don't know, what, what is it because, you know, of the final volume coming from the, you know, addition to the Russell 2 1000? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. But on a day like this, you know, everything, including stocks like AMC, should be way up because the market has just been blowing out the door green candles after green candles after green candles. So this leads me to think, well, how many times have we put our expectations into something that will ultimately lead AMC to a certain level, to a certain price, to a certain, you know, scenario? And yet we are, none of those are still to be happening. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we should be bearish. I'm not saying the, the squeeze is it, it, done. No, I'm not saying what we're supposed, what is supposed to happen here will never happen. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, let's manage our expectations. And this might sound like a broken record, especially coming from me, because I've pulled a little bit from, you know, the whole hype thing, the whole excitement thing. And I'm trying to be realistic by looking at, you know, the evolution of this play at the same time with the evolution of the market, at the same time with the evolution of the people against, you know, retail traders, I mean, retail investors still holding this stock. Why? Because on a day like this, a big volume, as we saw across the board in the market, maybe except in oil stocks, should have carried away a stock like AMC if everything was done according to the book. But because everything is not done according to the book, it's specifically for this stock AMC stock, specifically for this stock AMC, we should really be hoping for the best, but definitely, but definitely be prepared for the worst because AMC should have been up today at least 10% just by the Russell 1000 addition, all right? Not even counting the market volume, you know, on a green day like this. And that leads me to think, well, what else are they going to do in order to prevent this from happening? What else are they going to pull of the sleeves in order to make sure things get, you know, controlled or monitored or canceled in terms of the squeeze. I mean, in other words, can they cancel the squeeze? No, I don't think they can. They don't have that much power because at some point it's like you are cooking or preventing, you know, um, a dam from breaking out. But the flow is just coming. The flow is just coming. At some point, you will redirect the flow to maybe another dab. But the bottom line is the pressure is still coming. And at some point, it's going to break. And when it does break, it's open boulevard. All right? It's going to be open boulevard. Now, something else that is uh, I mean, um, uh, um, another stock that actually went through what we are about to go through its Revlon. So Revlon popped almost 580% in just a matter of two weeks, folks. Just a matter of two weeks based on bankruptcy protection. Why? If you look at the, you know, let's just go back to the one-year chart or maybe the five-year chart. You can see, you know, it was up and down, up and down as every other stock, you know, but since the pandemic, it's been pretty much, you know, going back up in order to, be around, you know, the, 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 the 10 to $15 a share. But since the beginning of, I would say, November, yeah, pretty much since the beginning of uh, uh, November, everything just started to be on the downtrend and the stock lost almost, what, um, 76%. No, 87%, almost 90% of its value based on what? 
rumors, you know, of bankruptcy, shorts piling up, up and up and up and up and up. Until, until they file for bankruptcy protection. And you know what happened? In just a matter of few days, from June 13, when the stock was down to $1.17, it popped all the way up to 7 that is 580% in just a matter of two weeks from June 13 to June 24. So is this going to be exactly the case for AMC? Because it means and it shows us clearly that the shorts ultimately will have to cover. If the company doesn't go bankrupt, the shorts will have to cover. If the company goes bankrupt, then they don't have to cover because the company stock is now worth zero. There is nothing to cover. But with AMC, things are definitely going the opposite direction. And that is why I think, as Lou mentioned a couple of times, the more short positions we have, the better and the more they kind of delay this from happening, the longer the period of time we do have to see multiple days of the squeeze happening, pushing the price higher and higher and higher. So just be mindful of anything they can pull then in order to mess with us, to give us the impression that everything is not, everything is dead just because, you know, we are now in the hundreds and in reality, we are waiting for way more. So just be careful, folks. This is my way of you know getting hopeful for the best but also definitely being prepared for the worst because this market it's it's shitty it's like you know when you think nothing can surprise you boom something happens and here you are sitting on your you know your butt um wondering what the heck did i did i did this or bet my money in this stock market but it didn't it doesn't mean that we are not winning or we're not going to win. We just have to play by the rules and be mindful of the rules. So please pay close attention to these folks.